right, so here's a fighter that a lot of people have been talking about here during fight week, really just because of the nature of his skill set. I haven't seen much in terms of a glaring weakness on film. Your thoughts? It, it doesn't seem like there is. You know, when you're watching the film and you're critiquing him, there's not much to critique. When you're trying to break down where the weaknesses are, there aren't many. The guy can wrestle, he can grapple, he's got tremendous cardio, great top control, insane durability. He's got it all. He's one of the best mixed martial artists we have seen come on the scene for a long time. But he's got to continue to prove it if he wants to stay where he is right now in the UFC. And perhaps his greatest asset, at least thus far, has been his instinctual nature in the octagon, right? Just knowing which skill to employ at the right time. And certainly he's got essentially every skill you would want in an MMA arsenal. DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Vicente Luque, ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this welterweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jack Della Madalena! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Vicente the Silent Assassin, Luke Herb Dean is your referee, Ready. he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, the not-so-silent assassin Vicente Luque back under the lights as this round gets underway. He has been on the cusp of contention before, nearly secured a title fight, but ran into Bilal Muhammad back in 2022. And now the focus on the Luque side for Daniel Evangelista and everybody else. Get back on the horse, prove that you're still a top-five guy, and they believe the knockout's going to materialize tonight. They just can't force it. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Vicente Luque gets the double leg takedown now. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Wow, that is great submission defense. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Nice little short uppercut there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. And that one certainly found the target. Another good stick to the head. Body shot there. And yet another hook landed there by Luke. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 
strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Three minutes to go. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Both fighters throwing heat now. Luque gets caught by that straight punch there. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, he's staying busy here, connected with a barrage of punches. Big elbow there, Lance. Just out of range with that right hand. Luque's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Very fast jab lands for him. Wow, what a head kick! Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Connected with a solid strike there. Nice. Nicely done. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Luke's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you... Oh, guillotine! Guillotine here! Oh, that guillotine is officially tight! Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it. How in the world did he escape that submission? A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense have done a great job. Just setting up for another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Look at him. Yeah. By this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Fifteen seconds. I need you to get back to guard for me. Move your hits. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, Ready making fight. it difficult to breathe. Ready. Go. All right, round two. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg. Right. Great technique on the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Big left hand. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So get a guy hurt. You got to find a way to finish the fight. Luke's eye now closing up. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Pretty good jab there by Luke. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Ooh, big shot lands. 
Straight right, he misses. He just heard about that book, yep. Luque's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Me. Big right hand. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Rips the body there. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, oh, back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, yeah. Good job. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to... Nice guillotine to tip here. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Under two minutes here to go round two. Trying to recover full guard there. I need you to get up now. Busy with the elbow. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. But so a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, back and forth, we go. Luque's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! Oh! oh beautiful level change. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know why change it? Gotta watch his neck. Oh, he's in trouble. The Von Flu choke looks like his end. He's got, he's done a great job. So the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. 
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just out of range with that strike. Back and forth. Oh, oh. oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Trying to set up a submission now. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, you better tap or that thing's going to snap. He's got it isolated. Working hard once again for that submission. It looks tight to me. Oh, my goodness. He's getting it tight. He's working. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, i got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Drops down inside the... Oh, he's got a lot of different off bars he can go to attacking here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like he's getting tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Luque's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Massive shot from the top. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. He's able to slip the left. Don't hesitate. Well, missed on that one. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Just out of range with that left hook. One minute now to go in the third. What a fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now they separate. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing. Oh, what a connection. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. Back to the feet now. Huge body kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. 
Nicely done to finish the fight. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jack Della Madalena! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.